hey guys so it's no doubt my hair has increased this past few months and honestly i still can't get over it and i get so many questions like which particular remedy i use and how to use them so in this video i'll be showing you how i recently increased my hair growth using some of my favorite hair growth ingredients so these remedies are what i've tried out on my channel and they work wonders so i'll be showing you how i incorporate them into my hair care regime for longer hair growth so if that's what you're interested in definitely keep on watching and without further ado let's dive right into this video so guys the first ingredient i'll be making use of is the popular cloves so many people know this and so many people can testify to this as well this actually does wonders to the hair while some people actually claims that this break off their hair so if your hair is protein sensitive you might want to skip the clove part so guys the next ingredient that i'll be using is rosemary like rosemary also is one powerful hair growth remedy you do not want to skip so guys rosemary is one of my favorite hair growth um remedies like one of my favorite i love the smell i just love everything about it so guys after measuring out the um the ingredients i just go ahead and put them in a blender and just you know give them a very good blend so if you have um you know fresh rosemary leaves you can also use that as well but i've always had this dried rosemary leaves and this is actually the last one i have like i've bought this so many times this is the last one i have that i'm make, making use of in this video so i'm just making sure i blend everything well before you know moving on to the next step So after blending, I made sure to transfer it into a big bowl and we move on to the oils. So guys, as for the oils, I love making use of my pure almond oil because this oil is very, very lightweight and it is very important to use lightweight oils when you're trying to infuse ingredients into them. I hope I'm making sense. So I just made use of half cup of that. So as for this measurement, you can eyeball them. Okay, it's not something you have to be very particular about the measurement you can just eyeball them depending on the quantity of the ingredients you're using so the second oil i'll be using is my castor oil i love making use of this oil because it also has its own benefits which i'll be listing on the screen so i just added just one spoon um yeah one tablespoon of that and that is all so guys the second ingredient that i'll be introducing is my amla powder this one is also one of the very og hair growth remedy if you're not using amla i don't know what you're doing or if you have not tried out amla so this is the one i use this is the amla powder and this one actually comes in in a pack of three inside so it lasts me for a long time so i just purchased this because i already ran out so i'll be adding that into the mixture since it's already blended i did not bother blending it so i just added it into the mixture and just give that a very good stir i think i added about two tablespoons of amla so guys moving on after properly stirring everything together i then move on to you know placing this on the fire i make sure that the water is properly boiled and just leave it on a very low e heat i do this for the oil to you know properly infuse the ingredients sorry to properly infuse into the oils so i don't advise leaving this for long at least five minutes is actually enough because i make sure that the hot the water is properly boiled so five minutes is enough for this to infuse and then i just take it down and sometimes i just leave this overnight okay i don't strain it right away i just let it sit and you know let the ingredients properly infuse into the oil guys amla is a very powerful hair growth remedy it contains vitamins which enhances blood circulation it also strengthens the hair follicles it delays premature grain of the hair it prevents dryness it boosts hair volume it cleanses the scalp and this thing adds massive shine to the hair and also helps darken my hair but i get questions like how do you get your hair to be this dark it's amla okay and not just dark it's adds like shine unbelievable shine 
to the hair like every time i look at my hair my hair color is usually on point just because of this amla okay you don't want to skip it so guys after letting it sit for three to four hours i went in to you know strain the oil and I'm, i made use of a wig cap for that please new wig cap okay new one not the one that has been used already so i just made sure to you know strain it and as you can see i still had particles inside and i don't know why so i just had to you know strain it again to make sure that i don't have any particles left in the oil So guys moving on to showing you one of the best ways i actually get the benefits of this oil so one of the ways i like to use this my hair growth oil is as a massage oil and i do this the night or the day before my wash day so this is the oil and i made sure to you know section my hair into workable section and also i've already detangled as well i detangled off camera so it, it is also important to detangle before applying this okay so guys one thing i want to say is that you have to be careful when using this oil because it contains amla and amla tends to darken anything it touches like after applying this treatment i realized that i should have used the glove because my whole finger my whole fingernails will looking all black but it is fine so you want to generously apply this um this oil onto your scalp onto your strands and also make sure you get your ends as well so guys i made sure to apply this oil just make sure it touches every part of my scalp and give it a very good massage so guys i one thing i forgot to mention is that fenugreek is also one of the ingredients i use but then i ran out and i couldn't you know get it so if you happen to have fenugreek at home please do make use of it or if you're one of those people who has like very protein sensitive um hair and you amla breaks off your hair or something you might want to alternate the amla with fenugreek okay fenugreek does wonders and i feel like so many people actually you know overlook what fenugreek does to the hair so yeah so sometimes i make use of fenugreek i make use of my amla and i make use of my rosemary i uh when i want to skip um cloths you know give it a break or something so guys after the application i like to go in with my scalp massager and then massage my scalp for about three to five minutes this actually helps with proper blood you know flow and blood circulation on my scalp so guys ever since i started practicing this this has actually increased my hair tremendously and i like to do this because a scalp massage always helps with hair growth coupled with you know the hair growth oil so after massaging this i make sure i make sure to you know cover my hair until it is time for my wash day sometimes like i said i do this a day or the night before my wash day but if i did not have the chance to do that i make sure to do this two or like an hour or two hours before washing my hair okay so guys moving on to my second favorite way i use this to increase my hair growth is using them as a herring so i just make sure to soak the ingredients in a container and then i just make use of it to you know rinse my hair after shampooing and conditioning i make sure to you know use it as a final rinse and then i don't rinse it off sometimes i just slightly rinse it off but then make sure i still have the rinse in my hair so guys by applying the hair rinse before my protective styling i've actually created a very healthy environment for my my hair to grow while it's in a protective styling and that is one thing i love about this rinse because my hair actually grows a lot while in a protective styling like when i take it out oh my god the difference is just so visible another thing i also like to point out is length retention it is one thing to have new growth and another thing to retain it you need to master the act of length retention our hair grows always but sometimes the problem is retaining length so when the hair is not retaining length it might appear as if your hair is not growing despite using 
every natural hair growth remedy so for more details on how i retain my lens make sure to check out the video that i'll be linking up in the cart as this is where i'll be closing this video i hope this video turns out very helpful if it was don't forget to give me a huge like subscribe if you haven't done that already leave your comments if you have any questions leave them on the comment section below thank you so so much for watching this video and i will talk to you guys in my next one bye